welcome to online video training. Today we'll cover inserting a table. To do so, click on the table icon, which looks like a mini spreadsheet. Here you can change the default number of rows and columns if you'd like. You can also specify that the first row or the first column or both be used as headers. That will create a different style of text. You can leave the border size of zero or you can add a border size if you're trying to replicate the look of a spreadsheet. You can align the table left, right, or center, and you can change the width. If you don't have a width, the table will stretch across the available area. Cell spacing and cell padding is set at 1. That will add a little bit of cushion, cushion of white space around the content of each cell. The caption field is text that will actually appear above the table and you can add a summary description, but that description is not shown to the viewer. Clicking OK. Now I can see my table. See the caption field is actually above the table. Adding content now for the column header. Tabbing over, I can add the content of the second column header. And then I'll put in a little bit of content into each cell. To view the properties of a cell, put your cursor in the cell and right click. Here's where you can select cell, you can insert a cell before, after, you can delete cells, you can merge cells right, you can merge them down, and you can split them horizontally or vertically. If you click on cell properties, here's where you can set the alignment of the text within a cell, you can change the width and height if you'd like, and you can change the way content wraps horizontal alignment, set mine to center, vertical alignment I will set to top. I can change the cell type if I'd like to uh, change it to a header cell. Specify the row span or column if I want the text to span across a row or column. I can't change the background or border color. Uh, once you save the table the Bentley styles will be imposed that will undo the, any kind of color that you've set. Right clicking and selecting row is where I can insert a row before or after or delete the current row. Same thing with column, I can insert a column before or after or delete the current column. I can delete the entire table or I can go back into table properties to make changes to any of the settings that I did when I first created the table. Click OK and there's my table.